All of the cleaned parts on a clean, dry surface to air dry overnight and wipe clean all the exterior surfaces of the freezer. Before you begin to reassemble the machine, make sure the power switch is off. First, install the drive shaft. Use an approved food grade lubricant to lubricate the groove and the portion of the shaft that comes in contact with the bearing on the beater drive shaft. Slide the seal over the shaft and groove until it snaps into place. Do not lubricate the hex end of the drive shaft. Fill the inside portion of the seal with one quarter inch more lubricant and lubricate the flat side of the seal that fits into the rear shell bearing. Insert the drive shaft hex end first into the freezing cylinder and the rear shell bearing until the seal fits securely over the bearing. Next, install the beater assembly. Look closely at the scraper blades. If the blades are nicked or worn, replace both blades. If the blades are in good condition, Install the scraper blade clips on the scraper blades and place the rear scraper blade over the rear holding pin on the beater. The hole in the scraper blade must fit securely over the pin to prevent costly damage. Holding the rear blade on the beater, slide it halfway into the freezing cylinder. Install the front scraper blade over the front holding pin. Install the beater shoes and then slide the beater assembly the rest of the way into the freezing cylinder. Make sure the beater assembly is in position over the drive shaft and that it is properly seated. When in the correct position, the beater will not protrude beyond the front of the freezing cylinder. To assemble the freezer door, slide the white plastic front bearing over the baffle rod onto the bearing hub, making sure that the flanged end of the bearing is resting against the freezer door. Slide the two O-rings into the grooves on the prime plug and apply an even coat of lubricant to the O-rings and shaft. Insert the prime plug into the hole in the top of the freezer door and push down. To install the draw valve, first slide the valve's three O-rings into the grooves on the valve and then apply lubricant. To install the freezer door, insert the baffle rod through the opening in the beater and seat the door flush with the freezing cylinder. With the door seated on the freezer studs, install the hand screws, the longer screws on top and the shorter screws on the bottom. Tighten the screws equally in a crisscross pattern to ensure that the door is snug. Then install the adjustable draw handle by sliding the fork over the bar in the slot of the draw valve and securing it with the pivot pin. Slide the longer drip pan into the hole in the side panel. Slide the shorter pump drip pan into the hole in the back panel. Slide the O-ring into the groove of the valve body cap. Slide the pump valve gasket into the holes on the cap. Insert the valve body cap into the hole in the mix inlet adapter. Slide the red O-ring into the groove of the piston. Lightly lubricate the inside of the pump cylinder at the bottom and then insert the piston into the bottom of the pump cylinder. Insert the mix inlet assembly into the pump cylinder. The drive hole and the mix inlet adapter must be visible through the drive hole opening in the pump cylinder and the aligning notch located at the side of the adapter must be positioned into the notch at the bottom of the pump cylinder. Secure the pump parts into position by sliding the retaining pin through the cross holes located at the bottom of the pump cylinder. For the pump to be correctly installed, the head of the retaining pin must be facing up. To assemble the feed tube assembly, slide the valve O-ring into the groove of the feed tube. Install the two red O-rings on each end of the mix feed tube and generously apply lubricant. For the 707, place the feed tube and orifice into the bottom of the hopper. For the 706, slide the large black O-ring and the two smaller black O-rings into the grooves on the shaft and thoroughly lubricate the O-rings and the shaft. Do not lubricate the hex end of the shaft. Place the pump assembly, the pump clip, the mix feed tube and the cotter pin in the bottom of the mix hopper for sanitizing. Install the hex end of the drive shaft into the drive hub at the rear wall of the mix hopper.
Pour two gallons of sanitizing solution over all the parts in the bottom of the mix hopper and allow it to flow into the freezing cylinder. Make sure your hands are cleaned and sanitized and then brush clean the mix level sensing probe on the front wall and the bottom of the hopper. The mix hopper, the mix inlet hole, the air mix pump, the pump clip, the mix feed tube and the locking clip. To position the pump on the drive hub at the rear of the mix hopper, align the drive hole in the piston with the drive crank of the drive shaft. Secure the pump in place by slipping the pump clip over the collar of the pump. Place the power switch in the on position and then press the wash key. This will cause the sanitizing solution in the freezing cylinder to agitate. Allow it to agitate for five minutes. With an empty pail beneath the door spout, raise the prime plug and press the pump key. When a steady stream of sanitizing solution flows from the prime pump opening in the bottom of the freezer door, pull the draw handle down and draw off all the sanitizing solution. Once the sanitizer stops flowing from the door spout, raise the draw handle and press the wash and pump keys, canceling the beater motor and pump operation. For the C706, stand the mix feed tube in the corner of the hopper. For the C707, lubricate the mix feed tube O-rings located on the end of the tube with the small hole in the side and lubricate the O-ring on the orifice. Place the orifice on end in the hopper with the small hole in the shaft to the top. To begin priming of the machine, pour two gallons of fresh mix into the hopper and allow it to flow into the freezing cylinder. This will force out any remaining sanitizing solution. Place an empty pail beneath the door spout and lower the draw handle. Be sure the prime plug is still in the up position. Raise the draw handle. Once a steady stream of mix begins to flow from the prime plug opening in the bottom of the freezer door, push down the prime plug. When the mix stops bubbling down into the freezing cylinder for the C706, remove the locking clip from the outlet fitting of the mix pump and then insert the outlet end of the mix feed tube into the inlet hole in the hopper. Press the auto key. When the unit cycles off, the product will be at the correct serving viscosity. Fill the hopper with fresh mix. As the mix level comes in contact with the mix level sensing probe on the front wall of the hopper, the mix low light will shut off and the mix ref light will come on, indicating the mix refrigeration system is maintaining mix in the hopper. Place the mix hopper cover in position. Following the procedures presented in this video will result in many hours of trouble-free operation for your C706 or C707 soft serve machine and will significantly contribute to a long and useful operational life.